and that's another thing. All these big channels are coming out with videos, you know, and they have, and you look, and they got 12,000 subscribers or, you know, a million views. But not one of them, not one of them shows sympathy for the little guy, the small channel, nothing. It's not fair. Why isn't it the other way around? Why don't they kick some of the big money-making channels off of YouTube and give that revenue to people who deserve it? The people who work hard. The people that are ill. The people that are less fortunate. You know, why don't you guys make these people famous? Instead of making ignorant people that just do anything for views. Why don't you guys step up? Quit being trolls. Do the right thing. And help out these people. It's not right. It's not right at all. And just like the president. Hurt the poor to get rich. Beat up on somebody or bully them or do whatever they do. And it's not fair. Not only am I losing my money, losing my channel, YouTube ain't nothing but a big bully. They're saying, you're little, you're nothing, bye. It's not my fault that people scam them. It's not my fault that they can't afford it. Quit doing that to me and others. Take it away from the ones that have it to get rid of. You know, kid behind the camera, Pootie Pie, freaking One Pug Life. Uh, get rid of all those people. All they do is drink, party, smoke pot, and be dumb. Well, that's not fair to me. You don't see me smoking pot and being dumb on TV. On freaking YouTube. I so much as light a cigarette and they say that that's unacceptable. Help me. Help me. I'm sick. I'm dying. Help me. You want me to cry? Do you want me to beg? I'm sure that's what the trolls want. I saved for two years to buy an antenna to have this happen. Before you know it, they'll they'll come up with some reason to keep my money. You think they wouldn't mind paying a small channel because they don't have to pay them that much. But instead, they would rather pay a big channel. Or they'd rather pay ads to run videos on music videos. Or they would rather pay a 17-year-old to play video games. Nobody wants to know what Josh is doing with his radios. It's not fair. I'm a YouTube personality, and... They fired me. Basically, they said, you're not worthy. You can still continue to watch the videos. You can still continue to like and share. But I will no longer get paid for it. So if YouTube users doesn't miraculously make me famous... then that's that. And there's nothing I can do about it. It's not like I can call them on the phone. It's not like I can write them an email. It's not like I can write them a handwritten letter. I lost. I failed. It's my fault, not YouTube. I'm the loser. I'm the one that failed.
please help me. I want to continue to do it. I want to continue to provide entertainment. I want to continue to make money. I want to pick up sponsorships. I want to buy these radios and have them on my channel for you. You know, I want to buy these Baofeng radios and, and provide them on my channel. I've went around and I wrote emails to Baofeng and Cobra and all this stuff asking them to not even give me a radio but to supply me product to feature on my channel. I never heard back from them. I tried to get a hold of Syria on their antennas. I mean, this is basically free, free advertising. They basically loaned me an antenna to put together, to use, to modify, to do these things to their product, to make it better. But no. Nope. No. Nope. They said, I'm sorry, we'll, we're able to answer any kind of questions you have about our product, but... Sorry. Never heard back from Cobra. Didn't hear back from RCI. You know, they say, well, Josh, you got to go out and get it. You got to go out and get it. Well, what happens when you try and you write emails and you do it again and again and nothing happens? You give up. That's not my fault. I wish I had big time sponsors like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Nike, you know, but no. My channel doesn't provide that information, so they don't they don't want to sponsor that. It's just so upsetting and so frustrating that the rich get richer and the poor bury themselves six, eight feet under. It's not fair. It's not worth it. It's not worth some of the comments that you see and hear and read. It's not, it's not worth it. And the only thing I can think of is why don't they fire these high profile channels? So, Angry Dad smashes the TV. And that's okay? So, you're telling me if I smash a $300 television that I'm going to get a million views? No. I'll smash a $500 television and have to go out and buy another $500 television and it won't won't make no difference.